Hi, I'm Priya and welcome to my channel Soul Yoga. Let's begin today's session with Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, which is alternate nostril breathing. So close your right nostril with the right thumb. Take a deep breath in with the left nostril and now close the left nostril and breathe out with the right nostril. After exhaling fully with the right nostril, slowly deeply inhale with the right nostril. Close the right nostril and exhale out with the left nostril. Repeat these cycles of Nari Shodhan Pranayam at least 5 to 6 times to get centered, calmer and much stronger for your yoga practice today. Breathing techniques are known to calm the mind and get you centered. You may relax. Take two to three deep breaths before standing for the mountain pose or Tadasana. In Tadasana, you have to close your eyes and keep an erect posture with feet totally relaxed on the yoga mat. Take a couple of three to four deep breaths. in the other side. A couple of deep breaths, deep breaths to relax and calm your mind. Never mind even if you stumble in fear. The next pose is Uttetta Parsha Konasana, which is the side angle pose. As you can see, this pose, this asana is performed by keeping the right thigh first parallel to the floor and with a complete oblique stretch of the body. You have to look straight up, the smiling face, a couple of deep breaths. The left palm is gently placed next to the left foot. The gaze up on the right palm and deep breaths Uttita Parshukonasana, the side angle pose. The legs come to the center. Let's move to Virbhadrasana. Virbhadrasana 1 is the warrior pose. In the warrior pose, as you can see, both the feet face the wall and the hands are extended above the head. This is a complete hamstring stretch. Virbhadrasana, the body pose. Now let's come to Virbhadrasana to warrior pose too. Where you stretch your hands and ensure that the posture is straight. You are not, you're not bending forward or bending back. Virbhadrasana 2, let's do Virbhadrasana 3, where you lift your left leg straight from the waist with a Namaste Virbhadra 3. Now let's repeat the entire sequence of poses in the other direction. Virbhadrasana 1 is a complete hamstring stretch and it's a powerful move to tune up your body and to give complete relaxation to all the muscles and make you strong. The legs are further rejuvenated. Deep breaths 
in this posture will help you tone up your leg muscles. From Veerpatri 2, gradually and slightly lift your right leg with spine totally straight, Veerbhadra 3, Warrior 3. Like a warrior, you're standing and doing deep Ujjayi breathing. Ujjayi breathing is nothing but breathing from your belly. You inhale and expand your stomach and breathe out. The next asana is the reverse namaste. I'll show you how it looks, the reverse namaste. Parshvottanasan and the other side. As you exhale, you bend forward to the side. You deep Ujjayi breathing. You relax in each pose. In Tadasan, you get centered. Now, lie down for Sarvangasan. Shoulder stand in Salvangasana. You will feel that the thyroid gland is properly rejuvenated. So lift your legs up, take the support of the waist on your hands. Your eyes closed. Do some deep breathing. And now put your hands behind your head. Halasan. The plow pose. Try to be in this pose for a couple of deep breaths. Slowly lift your legs up. And with one vertebrae at a time, put your legs down. After completing of these asanas, it's time to do some breathing techniques. Let's do Bhastrika Pranaya. Making fists in front of your shoulders, breathe in and breathe out. As you breathe in, you push your hands up and as you breathe out, you exhale. One, two, one, two. As you breathe in, you push your hands up and as you breathe out, you exhale. Bhastrika Pranayam is a powerful breathing Alexa, technique. Stop which makes your internal organs, your heart and lungs very strong. Do this inhalations and exhalations to a count of 20 and relax. Let's repeat another round of Bhastrika Pranayam. Within, out, in, out, in, out, within, out, then, out, in, out. Thank you. 
again with the right nostril closing your left exhale out with the left nostril this alternate nostril breathing is most effective after you complete your set of asanas repeat the cycles of anulom vilom pranayam for at least 5 to 10 times keeping your eyes closed you may gently relax and now lie down on the yoga mat in shavasan palms facing the ceiling like a dead body you lie flat on the yoga mat eyes totally still only your stomach expands in and out with breathing this is shavasan Feel the energy tingling in your body. Take a couple of deep breaths and you're done with the session.